Hello there, my beautiful viewers. This is Real Beautiful Beauty here today. I'm going to do a product review for you. Today I've been getting a lot of questions about this. Uh, skin numbing agents. Uh, being that I am the um, queen of hair removal, okay, and hair reduction. So, um, all my friends out here, um, as you all know, I um, do a lot of laser hair removal and I also am a certified electrologist as well. Okay, so I get a ton of questions about um, treating the skin and numbing the skin out for your pain level before you get laser treatments done or before you get traditional needle electrolysis done. Okay, so I'm going to show you two creams here that I personally use myself and so I do recommend to you. One of them is a prescription, so let's start with the prescription. So you will have to have doctor approval for this one. This is a prescription. Um, this is the generic form of Emila Cream, and Emila Cream is a skin numbing agent. Um, and what you do is you apply a thick layer of this cream to the skin of the area of treatment that you're gonna have the hair removed on. Okay, so you put a thick paste layer on, and then you <clears throat> cover that portion of the skin with saran wrap and you do that at least at the minimum one hour before the scheduled hair removal um, if you can go as long as hour and 30 minutes up to two hours before treatment um, obviously the longer you leave your your skin leave this on your skin and you keep the skin sealed off with saran wrap Obviously, the longer you do that, the number the skin will be. Um, according to your pain tolerance and pain level, um, personally me, I just have a very high pain threshold, pain tolerance. Some people don't, which is fine, just because some people are more sensitive um, nerves-wise and skin-wise than other people are. So if you're very sensitive to um, electrolysis or a laser hair removal, I do recommend using this and keeping it on the skin for two hours before treating the the area that you're going to treat okay and like I said you just put it on like a thick paste almost the consistency of toothpaste um, and you seal the skin off with saran wrap so you can cut squares of saran wrap uh, you could trim saran wrap you can um, like if you're working on an arm or a thigh you can loosely wrap that area now don't wrap it so tight that it does cut your circulation off do not wrap it so tight that you see redness of the skin or irritation or you're constricting blood flow or anything like that but just you know a nice a barrier um, sealing it off between your skin and evidently the cream so go to your doctor and you do have to request this and um, basically tell your doctor go to your um, your general practitioner your um, internist your yeah whatever kind of regular doctor you go to your general practitioner your family doctor and tell them that you are um, going to get electrolysis need electrolysis done or if you're getting laser hair removal done and you want to get Emila cream to numb your skin out all doctors will know what you're talking about just tell them that you're going in for either whatever your treatment is you're getting electrolysis or you're getting laser hair removal done and tell them that you want to take a little bit of the edge of the pain off okay and you request Emila cream they'll fill you a prescription for this now this is the um, generic brand um, evidently it, it was cheaper um, getting the generic brand is obviously cheaper than name brand it's basically um, your choice of how much you want to pay or what kind of health insurance you have or what they will cover now I got this um, requested from my doctor and I believe I, I actually request this from my dermatologist if I remember correctly so yeah you can also request it from your dermatologist your general practitioner your internist your family medicine doctor um, basically whatever doctor you go to on a regular basis and I paid I believe $85 for this um, you know it's one of these things that um, it's like my insurance uh, paid like $20 of it I think and then I paid like $85 of it so it's very expensive um, it depends on your level of pain if it's totally worth it for you to spend $85, $90, I think even some people spend $100 of it, depending on your health insurance plan, what your health insurance will cover. 
Um, if you're unsure um, about the cost of it, do request getting a generic brand. This is generic Emily Cream. And it's lidocaine and prolocaine cream, 2.5% um, slash 2.5%. And let's see, it is, the net uh, total net weight is 30 grams. And this is a good size tube. And I, I, I've had this tube a very long time. And sometimes they do expire on me. Um, but the effectiveness seems to stay pretty good even after the tube expires. Okay, so now that was prescription. Now I'm going to show you a non-prescription option if you don't want to hassle with insurance, high cost, or doctor's visits, etc., etc. So you can get this one online here. Um, it works well. It does not work as well as the other one, as the Emily Cream, evidently. But it does work, you know, it does take the edge off, okay? So uh, you might want to give this a try. This is lidocaine cream. Of, this is 5%. It says numb skin fast, uh, topical, um, uh, anesthetic cream, uh, lidocaine, and let's see here. Can't get the camera to focus for you. Okay. So anyways, this is just topical cream. And uh, yeah, I bought this from Amazon, and this is one ounce tube. And I paid about $52 from Amazon for this tube. And like I said, it works great. Um, if you want to start out using this cream first and see if um, your skin likes it, if you're used to it, if it takes the edge off for you, give it a try. It's $52 from Amazon. And um, yeah, you know, like I said, these are two skin numbing agents for either electrolysis, traditional needle electrolysis, which, like I said, I'm a certified electrologist, and I have been getting tons and tons and tons of um, re video requests, and all you guys want me to make a um, traditional electroly electrolysis video, which I'm going to do, but I just, I have to really, um, I just, there's just so much information out there. But um, traditional needle electrolysis has been around for approximately 125 years, and it is using traditional needles, and they are inserted into each hair follicle. So it's very tedious, it's very time consuming, and you deliver an electrical current into each hair follicle down into the papilla of the hair, and eventually it cuts off the blood supply for the hair to no longer grow, and the hair follicle dies out, and once the hair follicle dies out, you will be hair free. So basically, traditional electrolysis is the only, only permanent method of hair removal on the market. It's been out there 125 years. It is the only permanent hair removal. Now, that's why I make it very clear to my viewers, my friends, and my family, and my loved ones that um, laser hair removal is hair reduction. Okay, I know they market it as being laser hair removal. Okay, it is not permanent hair removal. The hair comes back. It comes back thinner. It comes back finer. It comes back denser. But it does not completely go away um, like it does with permanent electrolysis. So anyways, I'm eventually going to, you know, make the video, show everybody um, the kind of machine I use, the kind of machine I recommend. Like I said, I'm a certified um, electrologist, and I have been for a very long time now. So, uh, yeah, anyways, these are two skin um, numbing agents, and you can use them for either electrolysis or you can use them for your laser hair removal. You can use it for professional laser hair removal at salons. You could use it for your uh, laser hair removal home IPL devices like I, I own and use. So, yeah, I do recommend both of them to you, and check them out, and um, enjoy, everybody, and stay hair-free. Love, everybody. Bye now.